All right, sir. My questions for today is, what advice will you give a business starter before they start any business? Brilliant. Thanks for that question. The question is, what advice do I have for a business starter or an entrepreneur? If you are looking forward to start up any business very soon or you have a business in mind you want to venture into or invest your money in, this video is for you. So, listen attentively. Starting up a business in African countries looks easy, especially when you have the little capital to start. But managing the business effectively is the most daunting tax. So before you start up any business or invest your money into any business, you need to stick to this advice. The first advice I have for a business starter is you need to understand how the business works. This is very, very important if you want to be successful entrepreneur or a business owner. There are a lot of books out there that you can just get a copy for yourself and it will give you an idea of how to keep running the business effectively. There are seminars you need to attend that helps to build your self-confidence as a business owner. And uh, there are a lot of tax, a lot of commitment you need to make. All these things are very, very important. You don't just run into a business because people are making money from it. You run into a business because you have all what it takes to keep the business moving forward. So acquiring knowledge and skills is the first thing you need to get before you venture into any business. The second advice I have for business starter or entrepreneur is they all need to get a mentor. In a layman definition, a mentor simply means someone who has started a journey you are about to embark into, someone who has enough experience required about that particular business. The person that has run that same business you are about to venture into, he has run it successfully. So these are the people you need. They are going to walk you through the journey of your business on how to remain um, very focused even in the time of uh, instability because it always happens during or running any business. So you need a mentor. And another reason why mentor is very, very important is they help you to avoid expensive mistakes that can cost your business. So try to get a mentor if you don't have one. The third advice I have for business starter is you need cash. You see, cash is a tool that you must have if you want to run a business effectively. Cash flow is very, very important. Cash in hand. Very, very, very important. So, there's an adage that says, you use money to get money. So that's just it. And it's just the fact. If you want to get enough uh, business activities then you need to get enough money in hand you know cash is just like an estate it is the lifespan of a business it's the one that keeps the business more active so as an entrepreneur before you venture into any business you need to have set aside a money apart from your capital asset that will keep pushing your business moving forward so you need cash before you can run any business. The fourth advice I had for a business starter or entrepreneur is do your market research. As an entrepreneur, you don't produce what people are not ready to buy. You only produce what people are interested in. So you must do your visibility studies very, very well. There are some questions you need to ask yourself. What product do I need to produce? Um, how do I sell my product and where do I sell my product? All these questions are questions you need to provide answers for if you want to be a successful business owner. It's very, very important. And um, where your business is located is also important. Very, very important. And thank God for social media. It has made it very easy to promote your business online. So make use of that advantage more to start pushing your business even when it's not physically active to see how 
the market structure is going to be built. It's very, very important you understand your market and um, know how your market works before you run into that particular business. The fifth advice I have for a business starter is you need to improve your customer relationship skills. These are very, very important. As an entrepreneur, you need to know how to communicate effectively with your clients. I'm not saying um, speaking a very ambiguous grammar, but speaking a, a, a language that your customer can decode effectively and be persuaded enough to at least patronize you for once. So this is very, very important. So um, as a business owner, you need to know how to communicate effectively with your customer and your staff, which I call your team. Because people who are around your business and people who bring money to your business, they are those that keep your business alive. Without them, there is nothing like a business. So you need to learn how to make them very happy. There's nothing bad as an entrepreneur. If your client is having any event, you can just put a call through or a message and um, congratulate them. This helps to build a strong relationship between um, a business and a customer, even if they have nothing to buy from you. So learn this habit and learn to um, cultivate good attitude towards your clients and your staff. This helps your business to move forward, even if you have not started or you have started. So this is my few advice for business starter or an entrepreneur who are looking forward to start up a business. You need to follow all this advice listed if you want your business to grow. Thank you.